relegation season. Yeah. Was did you feel there was anything in the summer leading up to it that, that led to relegation? We just Keane left, McAllister left, and they were replaced by the Kelly hard Gibson. thing for that season was replacing the goals. Mm. Um, and it, it was it was hard. We thought we'd got enough, to be honest. Um, and on reflection, I think all but for a few injuries and things, I think we would probably have made it. Um, at which point, if we had made it, we'd have been all right again then. Um, but, you know, we're always... You have to be a realist at times, and we were always going to be in that box of clubs that are going to have to fight it out. Um, not necessarily be the ones to go down, but we'd be in the shake, putting it bluntly. I think I said to you before, you know, Phil Neal's team that year was finished 11th. Well, we were top of that table. Gordon, one year, we finished 11th as well. We were top of that table that year. But we lost Gary. Gary got 15 goals, or 14 or 15 goals that season. Robbie got about 14 or 15 goals, and he didn't play the whole season. Um, we thought we'd got cover because we replaced him with Bellamy. Uh, with, um, and we'd also got... I'm trying to think back... <laughs> Um, who else played up front? Cedric Roussel. Hmm? Roussel. Oh, and Cedric Roussel, yeah. And we had Haji. Um, Haji got injured at one stage, which was a pity. Um, one or two didn't... Froggart was injured for a long patch and, in fact, pretty much gave up, I think, at the end of it. Um, we were... We were struggling. David Thompson was injured as well um, and got him from Liverpool, if you remember. Mm -hmm. Little David Thompson, yeah. who found us on the radio this morning. Um, and, but we were always short of goals. And then, so, the signing of John Hartson. Yep. We tried to sign John, I would say, six to eight weeks before, yeah. at least. Um, and Wimbledon were umming and ahhing, no, they didn't want to sell him, and this, that, and the other. And week by week it went by. Um, and in the end, I remember going and meeting um, uh, the Wimbledon people in London, and eventually we did a deal for John, but we wanted to do it along. And if we'd got John, earlier, I'm convinced we wouldn't have gone down again then, um, because he'd have given us the goals that we were desperate for. Um, he did damn well when he did come. He did, yeah. Yeah. Um, and he was strong character and, you know, he knew what he was there to He's do. A leader. Yeah, and he, was, he knew what he had to do, you know, and that was to lead from the front, score goals, rough a few people and make sure that they knew they were in a game, you know. Um, and it was a fantastic deal we did um, and it was a fantastic deal afterwards when John went to Celtic um, you know it was prob probably the most profitable deal we've ever done um, so you know but it didn't compensate for going down it, it, it was arguably the worst possible time to go down as well wasn't it yes because it was the the last of the old contract with TV and everything, uh, and the, before the latest contract at the time, which was a big jump in money, was to come up. And parachute payments reportedly they, they, four they, million. They, they, how much were they? Four million. Mm. Well, they weren't going to change. That doesn't change the world. Didn't change the world. Mm. It's forty now, isn't it? 